Laura Flack here of Soltar Solutions, and I'm here today on Focus Forward, and we are going to be talking about the professional edge with Regina Barr. I'm so excited to have Regina here today. Regina, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Lori. I'm very excited to be here, and I really think this is an important topic for anyone, whether they're a business owner, a corporate executive, or somebody who's up and coming, a student, uh, a career person, anyone really who wants to put themselves forward in a, in a positive and powerful way. So I know that things have changed in the professional world quite a bit in the last well, like at le 20 years I can think of when I started my professional career, things have changed so much. I'm thinking that some people might not know what the professional edge really is. What is the professional edge? You know, for me, Lori, when I think about professional and the edge piece. Professional is really how you're bringing yourself forward into the workplace. And unfortunately, you know, you talk about the change over the past 20 years, it's become less and less and less professional. And so if you want to have an edge over your peers and counterparts in the workplace, you really need to do some things. And, and quite frankly, you can do some very simple things that would set yourself apart. So it's really about how you're bringing yourself forward, how you're positioning yourself, and probably more importantly, and you know a lot about this, is how you're perceived. Exactly. So what I'm thinking of is really um, your personal brand. Right. And that is like a makes up a lot of your professional edge, I'm assuming. It does. And what's really fascinating to me about a personal brand, because we all talk about having a personal brand, is that people don't spend a lot of time thinking about that. And the interesting thing about a personal brand is you can spend a lot of time developing it over time and you can damage it in an instant. It's all about your reputation. So when I think about someone in their personal brand, I always tell them to think about, you know, um, just like you were a company, you know, what's your mission in life? How do you want people to perceive you? What are your values? What do you want to be known for? I'm known in the industry, I think, for making things happen. So I always joke around and tell people I'm a make it happen kind of gal. And I think most people, when they introduce me in some way, shape, or form, that's what they would say about Regina Barr. Exactly. That is very, very true. So let's just take it, because I, I understand what you're talking about through the, the branding work that I've done and also the work in television. But I'd like maybe to talk from examples. I think that would help people to understand it a little bit better. So can you give me an example of someone that the viewers might know who definitely has the professional edge? You know, um, there are a lot of people, I think, are a lot of great examples. I'm going to use someone, I think, that's a little bit more contemporary for our audience. And so for me, someone that comes to mind is uh, Taylor Swift. Very powerful okay. personal brand. Yes, Very she's got powerful. an amazing brand. Mm -hmm. um, she is incredibly business oriented. She is very in control of her brand, but yet she's very approachable. People like her, and she is good under pressure. So I don't know if you remember that situation that occurred when she was receiving a music award, and Kanye West came out on the stage, and she handled that with grace and really was able to turn that to her advantage in terms of how she responded to that, how she accepted his apology uh, later on. And I just think that, you know, if I were looking at young professionals out in the workplace, she would be someone that they could model and look to as a role model for themselves. Well, that's a great example. So tell us a little bit about what the professional edge actually is. Like, like what is it? Like, like, is it the way you dress? Is it, you know, what exactly is it? So it's really tangible. It's a combination of factors. So, for example, it is about your presence. And so when you are looking to have that little edge, you need to be thinking about um, how you look and how you feel. And probably even more important is how you feel because very often I find that people don't lack competence very often they lack confidence, and sometimes you, if you view your clothing as a uniform, if you will, that will help you project the persona that you want. It's almost like putting on a costume, if you will. So what you want to do when you're trying to project that professional edge is you always want to dress a level or two above yourself. So you want to look at your supervisor or your boss or the position that you're aspiring to, and that's how you want to dress. I don't see that happening a lot. I see people either dressing at or below 
the level that they're at. And so if you want to just have that little something extra, that edge, that's one way that you can do that. Well, that's a perfect, I think that's an awesome example because I see it often when I go to you know, everywhere, basically, mm -hmm. everywhere. I'm, sometimes I'm really surprised at how people are... Um, Too casual is the only way I can describe it. and that's a polite way of describing yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> because I would go a little bit further than that. But the other thing I think is that um, this is actually this desire to be casual and comfortable and whatever is really holding people back. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that they realize that their image is a major issue for them. You know, it's interesting that you said that. And one of the best pieces of advice that I got very early on in my career, this is the days before we had Casual Friday. So a lot of people probably don't even remember that. And I was lobbying the executive VP of our division for Casual Friday. And it was a woman, which in, in, in banking and financial services, which was very unusual. And so we were lobbying her and lobbying her and lobbying her. And finally, um, she sat down with me and she goes, I know you really want to have those Casual Fridays, but I just want to tell you something. In my, from my perspective, she said, casual attire promotes casual thinking. And it really changed things for me. So for example, um, I eventually moved on to other companies. They had Casual Friday, but I found that when I would dress casually, it was sort of dressed up casual. Mm -hmm. I always had a scarf on, I always had a jacket, mm -hmm. so that I always looked pulled together. And I will tell you, I know that those kinds of little things really helped move me forward in my career because I always looked presentable, I always looked like a professional, I always looked like someone who knew what they were doing, which I think is about having that little something extra, that little edge. Well, it's interesting that you should mention this because often in my career, I was in environments where you could only dress in one color or mm -hmm. even two colors. And, or you had to dress, you know, you had to have a certain outfit for, the, for those environments in New York and mm -hmm. the salons and different places I worked. It was very, very, very strict. And I think that that permeated the entire organization that strictness. So the way that you dress was just one, uh, one example mm -hmm. or one ex uh, essential element to it. It was also the, the way you did everything else sort of followed through with that. So I think that um, the professional edge is very important, especially now for college students. Mm -hmm. Getting out of college, sometimes I, you know, I'm curious as to if they even know how to dress at all. I'm just really, um, wondering because so they me, haven't been dressing like so you're talking about college students mm -hmm. let me give you an example I was um, interviewing interns for my business I needed some support I am a big fan of mentoring and giving back to the community I had I think three four young men and women coming to interview with me these young folks came in flip-flops and shorts for one person uh, <laughs> jeans and uh, nothing to write on, no, not a piece of paper or anything. Um, the person who I actually hired came in, and I wasn't asking for someone to be in an Armani suit or anything like that. She had on pressed slacks, neat shoes. She brought a pad folio and a pad. She had the professional edge. She got the job. Worked for me, I think, for the whole year um, on an internship basis, uh, paid internship. And she got the benefit of having some training and education of working with someone like myself. That young woman gets what it means to have the professional edge. Well, totally. I totally get it. Because when you're out and, you, you know, you're seeing clients or you, you're doing events or whatever, you absolutely need to have somebody that is representing you mm -hmm. and your company properly. So give us three tips that anyone can use to get the professional edge. One, I would say what we've just talked about is be mindful of your attire, your appearance. You know, it, it matters, and um, that's something that you can easily control whether or not you have a lot of money or not. I, I think number two, um, it's build and develop your network because very often that professional um, edge is being having access to information and resources and one way you do that is by who you network and who you know and what you have access to and um, three I think I would recommend that people 
be looking um, at how others in their organization are acting. You know, look at that next level or two above. You know, look at what are the qualities and what are the things that that individual is doing to move ahead, and then try to uh, do some of the same things. So those would be three things that I think anybody would be able to do. Great examples, great examples. Thanks so much for coming on today and helping people get the professional edge. You're really, you're a great example of exactly what you're talking about. Thank you, Lori. You're welcome. So that's it for that show today. Isn't that wonderful? Now you know what the professional edge is. I learned a lot from that. So thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.